Oh, we don't really need to turn up these stops now, as long as we're seated at the back. I'm going to start with the back rail. And I'm going to use tap testing. Solid, 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 solid. We're there. Now at the front rail. Solid, 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 solid. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. If we were just on a regular bench, we would now use, if we had this all shimmed so that these two were stable, then we would use the glider studs to reach further or pull back from in order to uh, match our key step sample. We fit our back rail and our front rail by leveling the back rail and the front rail, in fact. And, um, and they're stable and do not tap in any of their, the points of their support. So now we go to the balance rail and we set key steps in the piano to memorize uh, the, different, the distance between the front rail and certain keys. And we chose the keys that were uh, closest to the glider studs because the glider studs are what hold the balance rail and they're the points of greatest stability for the balance rail. Now there's a hidden stud under here by that, that C sort of goes over it and there's another hidden stud uh, under this B somewhere. Um, so we're going to just start we first step was to make them all as I turn Counterclockwise, I push the wedge in, raise the elevators until these are lifted enough so that all of their keys have a tap. And now we're going to just eliminate that tap. So I'm, I'm going to turn my screw clockwise, which pulls the wedge away. until I just eliminate that tap. And a way to tell is actually to pull this out. There is a little tap. If I do that, push it back in and center it. No tap. I'm going to back it up until it makes some noise. There. Solid, solid. Okay, I think that's it. Got a little more to go on this one. There it is. That's actually it. So we're in business. Okay.